Ta-ta. Diane, you're so small. Why do you have your magic wand out? What is it? My God, the resemblance. Harry. I know sometimes my hair can get a bit out of control, but it's straight today. today. it's tamed with the pink clouds. blow dried it. Indeed. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to OK Aussie. Hi. Um, I'm about to leave you to go watch some Disney while little He's Miss, with her magic wand, is going to suddenly make her whole wardrobe Bazoomed. Bazoomed. Whatever if that is. that's a word even. I don't, it's not a word. You're doing some organisational skills. Some self-care of your clothing. I'm doing my wardrobe so that I can executive function daily. Well, as an autistic, that's a challenge, isn't it? How many times a day do I say to you, oh my God, where's this? Where's that? I don't know what to wear. How, does this look good together? I think I should just I'm be a, a professional stylist. That's what I have to do. But I'm Imelda Marcos of clothes, aren't I? Well, Imelda Marcos is the ones for the shoes. And speaking of shoes... We've but actually got a vet in the look at my... Who's the person for that with clothes? One of those French... Abfab? Coutier sort of designers. But Diane does have shoes, shoe boxes with pictures, photographs of her shoes that are inside the boxes for every yes. shoe to help with her executive function because Diane's got autism, ADHD, OCD. So, and all of those things combined... recommend? All come from that 22Q thing. Now, she's going into that thing. <laughs> okay, so it's a bit like Narnia. You know how you go into it's the cool. wardrobe and you go into a whole new world? Yes. If I didn't need the space for my shoes, I could have a fort, you a could, cubby. You could have with a cubby lights. with lights in your oh, wardrobe. Oh, now I've got ideas. Well, hopefully today will help you because no. you've been to Big W to get some it's not space. It's possible though. You've got some space saving I've packs. Got you know those ones that you suck with the vacuum cleaner? But space that would packs. Be so cool. She's got four large ones. I can fit in <laughs> here. With ADHD is rare. Guys, we're in happy hour, okay? Snacks. This is. Happy hour at the moment. We're at 8.36 p.m. Buckle in for tonight. She's going to go through her wardrobe, split it into summer, winter, favourites, not favourites. I could sleep in there. You, you could, actually. Like Poss Harry Potter. Possibly you could. But it's not underneath the stairs. Same Privet view. Drive. It's got There's a room for an hour to come dry, deliver you some mail. But anyway, guys, I you need to owl. work with her. I know you. I want him to come Edwin. to my mailbox. Do you know that I wish for that every day? And every time I go to the mailbox, if I go Such with a Sir, isn't it? which I don't get to go as often as Sir, true. I'm always like, where is he? Sorry, Australia Post. You're you letting us what? down. We need our mail. That's a real thing. Our we mail. We need a picture of him yes. above the mailbox. We could do that as well. Nah, people might get mad. <laughs> I have, have no idea. So do you have a plan? Yeah. Do you have a strategy? And apart from ADHD going off in tangents tonight. Do I need what? Do you have a strategy? A plan? No. Are you just going to dive in Winging and it. throw clothes every which way? Sorry, There's going to be a lot of pausing. Okay, I'm that's a good thing. Because I'm through the bore of it. All right. But no, I have no strategy. But there is, well, I hope you'll find no, a strategy. Actually, okay. There, there is. Okay, there is. There's always a strategy. Sorry, there is. Yeah. So basically, what I've always done... Right. I've always had a small cupboard. Yes, Too yes. many clothes, small cupboard. <laughs> That's a problem for someone who likes to collect. I don't know. But collections but are her thing. Again, it's an autistic thing. Is, oh, well, you come to help too? Good on you, buddy. I, I, I collect clothes. Yeah, you need but to stop that, by the way. He's, he's helping. And he's already Sheen trying, he's already trying to does not there. help your addiction he's towards collection. He's wrapped about the Harry Potter concept. Yes. He's, Redesign. <laughs> the shoes need to go somewhere else. Having a safe place, having a little cubby hole yes. to decompress. Yes. Pretty good idea, actually, for a strategy for managing meltdowns. Okay, well, I love that concept. I'm open. I mean, you've got a weighted blanket. You, you've got I'm a ready. swing out the back. You've got a lot of cool things already, and you've got your ready. favorite blankets. All right. Anyway, anyway, we'll talk about that later. That's right. a possibility. That's a possibility. But anyway, Willow is wanting to do it, but basically, the plan is yes. Good plan. Good plan. Recommendation. Right. I read it somewhere before yes. Pinterest. Pinterest I'm I love. old. Pinterest is Basically, cool. I found it, yep. and it said, "Right, put your winter clothes yep. away in summer. Put your summer clothes away oh, in that's winter." Damn obvious. Except... Whoever said that? Well, well done. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's damn. Sometimes the damn obvious. of things we don't think of, especially us autistic. Especially but people. basically, right. what you leave. Yep. So say if it's winter, yep. you leave a little bit of summer sure, stuff. Sure, one jumper out or whatever else. A little or bit of summer. Vice and versa. And vice yeah. versa. When it's, when it's 
Summer, sure. we live a few jackets. Are in. you going to go through your pajamas? Because that's an extensive collection. Thank you very much, Peter Alexander, not sponsored. But if you want to sponsor me, just let me know. Yeah, and I've also <sighs> got to go through them because with my heart problem and my flu retention is Full all body around edema. my trunk. You now, got chunk in your lost, trunk. <laughs> I've lost three kilos in fluid. Ridiculous what my heart's doing. But yes. anyway, Great. she's a drama. I've got 20Q syndrome. Yes. My body Damn is that heart. It but is. basically, right. because of that, and because of dryers, shrinking things, and because I that's have to That's my excuse wear, for what I don't fit into things. Yeah. Actually, I'm losing weight, so that's not an excuse. Keep going. That is an excuse. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. But basically, <laughs> as you know, as I, I know. whinge all the time. Yeah. If it just fits me perfectly, yeah. I'm whinging around here. Darling, I look... It needs to be loose. Again, loose coming back to this see. autism thing. Sensory oh, clothing not just tags. that is to the millimeters, it's be not two, just the tags, it's be one not just the texture, the feel. More if it's not specific feel to, how soft this is. she's got a buttery soft, it's all buttery it's soft. But, I'm not even do you know why I wear this so much because it's buttery soft? But the problem <laughs> so, is, yes, I have beautiful clothes, you do, and I don't wear them. She, that. Was my problem. It's like she also forgets, a bit like my makeup collection, I've got a good one. I, I wouldn't, even, wouldn't even know because you never use it. If you don't put it out, if it's not in plain sight, oh, she doesn't bird. see these things. And that's the right. thing with clothes. They've you got to be out, obtainable part. for her to be able to wear. That's your job. So you guys need to help her get some better organisation going um, so that we can improve this. Ooh, this is, um, Let's see how this journey goes, we shall we? We have a few doors to fix I'm out the closet. <laughs> it's it's, it's about right time that you came out of the closet. Out the closet. Not a problem, but wasn't expecting it today. But anyway, that just happened. My cat just came out the closet. Three times it's more joke, storage guys. space. Space really bag. Honest. Two times large, two boxes. You BW. have four times the space. It was actually 40% off. Four times off, the so. space. How? Well, no, 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 no. Well, you got four of the large times oh. three. You get three times. Space so it's really bags. 12 times more storage space if you look at it. Man. Anyway, 40% off. Enjoy. Get on with it. <laughs> I'm thinking about what he said. It is, I have mathematical problems. Anyway, that's not what we need for this job, do we? Just spatial awareness? Yes. And decision making about what I really am going to wear and what I'm not going to wear. So anyway, let me just fix my... It's washed my, my, my... Oh my gosh. Okay. To give you an example... In case you've never seen my shoe boxes, and I recommend you do it, sorry for the butt shot, it's just going to happen because I can't have a cameraman because you know how small my channel is. Help me grow, okay? I want to play with the big kids, please. It's not fair. He agrees. Anyway. I will show you, it's a bit distorted, hang on, let me just fix this. You did a good job, son. Like, I'm telling you, coming out of that closet that way, wow, you really, really, really were keen. Too keen. You just could have given me a warning. Could have had a party. Anyway, look, a bit crooked. It's got a photo. And I know what's in it, and it's stacked in my wardrobe. I've got tons of them. This is my sneakers. This has gone crooked. He jumped on it. So basically, they all. Oh, son, you've made it rip, you cheeky little bugger. Okay, so basically, all of them have a picture of what's in it, and it's just um, basically stapled to here. So if I change shoes, I take it off, take the staple out my new shoes in if I've chucked shoes in the bin or whatever and put the new ones in with the new photo. Easy to do. So anyway, that's not what we're doing today, but I wanted to show you because I have got a video on that somewhere. Um, so check that out. Oh my goodness, it's a butt shot again. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Has to be butt shot. <laughs> okay, so what are we thinking? Right, what are we in? He's, what do you need, son? Oh, that's so important. I love you so much. Okay, so basically it's winter. 
in Australia. I get so confused because you Americans, I'm a YouTuber, I watch you guys. I, I don't know if any YouTubers watch me, but I'm just saying, who am I speaking to? As if they'd watch me. I'm just saying, like, I watch a lot of YouTubers in other continents where the weather is completely the opposite. They're having summer, I'm having winter, and when I'm having summer, they're having winter. It's very confusing for my brain. Because they're my daily ritual. Coffee, chat with Sir, watch my vloggers, and then I can get on with my day. And I'm happy as Larry. Whoever the fuck Larry is. Right. Space bags we don't need right now. Highly recommend. Big W has many different ranges. I got the... Um, Four large, I only need three large because, well, we'll see. Because basically, these space bags are brilliant and they come in two packs. I had no choice. I couldn't get a three pack. Right, I'm going to start with these clothes. Because you know what I'm finding hard already? I don't want to pack away any of my clothes because I'm being PDA right now. So basically, I'll put you on hold, I'll get some piles going, and then I will show you because I don't want to bore you. <laughs> I really don't want to bore you. Okay, guys, so I'm getting somewhere. So basically, I've got a pile of stuff that are currently what I use for at-home wear. I've got a stack here of winter wear so far. I've got... Um, only one so far of dress up stuff, but you never know when you have to be formal. My summer collection is here because I can't wear that in winter, it's too cold. So I'm getting summer and I'm now, so I've emptied this bag and I'm now onto my bottom drawer, which has seemed to be because I got a new chest of drawers when I moved here because my other ones were just not going to cut it right this house is different every house has different needs so trusty or ikea and they were so old my other ones like the bottom was pushing through pushing through probably with a lot of clothes but i had it for like oh my goodness over 10 years so it was a cheap ikea one for over 10 years i did good i'm proud of myself for that because i treat things very well guys like I, I grew up with nothing, even though I had wealth around me, yes. But um, at actual home, with my single mom, I didn't. Had a shoebox of stuff and animals were my thing. So that's why I do have a lot of things. And also I'm a collector. So even as a child, yes, I couldn't collect things like this, but I collected things like rocks, sticks, Things that, you know, I, I would make the, what are those flower heads? I would make them. Like, that was a big deal in my town. We all taught, we were all taught how to do that in brownies, actually. Anyway, but basically, yes, I was a dog. And I am proud of that. But basically, um, I used to collect, like, honky nuts. That was my favourite. Put little faces on them. Pet rocks were my thing. I used to talk to them as if they were pets. So basically, having things now, and I used to only be able to shop at the op shop for clothes, unless I made it myself with my mum's sewing machine with her skills that she gave me, that was it. Or if she zipped me something up, which sometimes happened, that was it. So I didn't have anything. So this is heaven. So this is why it's overwhelming, but it's exciting. Um, everything I get, I just appreciate. So it's hard to let go of clothes because I never had enough. I never had enough clothes. My, my tracksuit pants would end up here. Um, and I just didn't have enough clothes. And so I would get cold and I would get embarrassed. I remember going to a birthday party in my school uniform. So I didn't have anything to wear. So um, I'm very appreciative of this. And I got a very lucky voucher from my private health fund that I started with, which that's fair enough. You know, like I've paid a lot of money for my private cover. It's expensive. 
it's hard to afford but I need it there's just no other way of me getting by in life and staying alive as long as I can that's important to me as you can imagine so basically I got a hundred fifty dollar voucher and I spent it at City Beach so guys I've got a a duffel bag I love duffel bags I think they're the best things ever you can just shove things in they're better than a suitcase so I've got a duffel bag my last duffel bag from there from City Beach lasted me for years <laughs> And I got a surf shirt, super excited about that. And um, some new thongs for summer. It's Australian essential, okay? So anyway, I'll do the draw and then I'll catch up back with you. So just know, um, I think it's ended though, but every now and then, like HBF, they do, when they start you up, you get a, a voucher. So it's pretty cool. I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but I'm not going to say no because I got to get some really useful things for me. Just having a surf shirt is a luxury for me. And this duffel bag is going to be so handy and long lasting. So anyway, I sort of let you know about that because that was super special to receive that. I'm so appreciative. Okay, so let me show you what I've done. Right, so, <laughs> because of my heart problems and the trunk having edema, I have to adjust a few of my pads just for sensory things more than anything. So they fit, but the sensory part just needs to be loose. So I'm gonna fix the elastics in these, easy to do. That's in a pile. I have a lot of pajama bottoms, don't worry, I've got a, this is another pile, that all fits me. But basically, I've got a second pair of these from Shein, ready for mid-season, which also has to do is take up here, because it's not adjustable, and I'm short, and I'm petite, so my shoulders and all that, so it needs just taking in about that much on each side, um, luckily it shrink, shrunk when I bought it it was slightly too big and then it shrunk in the wash both of them and they're perfect but anyway these are super comfortable for day wear around the house and then if you have to go out you don't feel like it's that bad right you can wear a cute like midriff underneath it's kind of cool kind of sporty maybe anyway a bit surfy maybe that's just my roots, the ocean. So anyway, I just have now, what have I got? So I've not only, let me just say, that fits, duh, because that's why it's there. Um, this is a 90, oh my God, this is super cute, Disney guys. Oh my gosh, before I go through my tops. This is super cute, isn't it? <gasps> It's warm 90. It's a warm 90. Who would imagine a warm 90? Well, I got one. <laughs> I recommend them actually. Um, if you're someone that doesn't like being strangled or you just want to have a bit of breathability, like this is a good winter 90. Rare. I mean, I used to wear the Catholic ones from my mum in the flannelette. Remember them? Anyone else was one of those? And everything had to have a cardigan. It's a bit English, isn't it? Yes. And we have to have our hair in a bob cut. Do you see why I rebelled? And now I'm attached to my hair, like, severely. Even my son was when I got my hair cut. And it was about here. And I got it cut up to here. He cried. I like the old mummy. I was devastated. I was like, oh, sorry, son. But it's true, kids don't like us being unfamiliar. He's very sensitive to my hair. My youngest is weird like that. He was like, you changed the color? No, no. It distresses your child. So just, this is for him as an adult. So just know, kids are sensitive to change. It is a thing. But basically, I've got a 90. Don't know where I'm gonna put it. 
talk to her right now. <coughs> I guess in the nighty section. Because <coughs> I have nighty. So next I'm going to do is I've got, look at me. I've got an empty drawer down here. I know it's a mess and I know nothing has been, I don't know where that noise came from. Nothing's been dedicated for the space bag shed except for that pile of summer clothes. Yeah, but anyway, what's hanging up is really what's going to go in those backpacks because most of that is summer stuff. So now that I've emptied pretty much two bottom drawers, what's the other drawer? Oh gosh, this is the summer. Oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, no worries. Now this, different story because that's actually, that should be hanging with these guys. This is my silk long ones, Peter Alexander. So good on the skin if you're autistic, great. Um, now these are all summer pajamas, except for the 90s that I do wear. And that's a t-shirt over there. There's been a few stray t-shirts. It happens, I sometimes mix and match my pajamas with t-shirts. We all do it. Um, I have two 90s here for sure. Oh, and I have my, where's the summer 90s? Let's leave that there. So I've got two 90s that I do wear with like warm bottoms of any kind, whatever ends up happening that day. It could be tracky pants. It could be my, one of these pants. But I'm gonna put it with this 90 because 90s go together, don't they? Okay. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. Now I will do dyspraxia, I mean, Ataxia. This is narrow for me, anyway. I'm battling. Anyway, let's do this right. Okay, I'm all good. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pack away the summer pajamas. I don't need them. Maybe a few shorts though, because sometimes I do. And I wear my really long socks. Like, really long, long socks. I'm getting old now, aren't I? Anyway, I still scored 9 out of 9 on the EDS scale. You shouldn't when you're 50. Anyway, basically, I think I might keep a few shorts to wear my big jumpers with because it's just, I like it like that. So basically, I like to be cheeky. <laughs> but basically, most of my summer pyjamas I'm going to put with those summer clothes, like I'm going to get from the wardrobe summer clothes, I don't need them till summer. So that's what I'm doing next. Okay, guys, let me show you. As I, here I am trying on clothes. Um, let me show you. Been trying on my trackies. Love these ones. Glad I found them. <laughs> anyway, look at my cat's doing. If it fits, it sits. All right, let me just squish you together. Put your legs together. <laughs> oh, he got out. Did you have to get out at the time when I'm trying to show? Right, now we're going under the bed. Well, that's just rude. That's just rude. That's just totally rude. Anyway, that's just so rude. I can't believe it. Seriously. He got in one of the boxes. Cute. Fun. I liked it. You know, I found these pants. Like, I can't get them. I found them. No. The things you find when you actually clean your wardrobe up and your executive function might be a little bit, let's say, wonky, stressful. Do it anyway. Don't PDA. I've been doing this, PDAing for about a month, but I'm getting it done. <laughs> so, now I've got the starter pack, I've got chapter one, but, <clears throat> and I've even got the little pretty sleeves, clear, ultra clear to put them in. Highly recommend you do that. Anyway, instead of getting the Locana season like two or three, Two's quite dark, three's less dark but dark, four seems cool. So I just said, I just want like a booster kit, he's in the box again. See him? 
madness. Anyway, we'll let him. He's having fun. Um, this is season four. So, so series four is into the lake in into the ink land, and this is what it looks like. I'm super excited. I haven't even opened it, but I'm I'm savoring it. You know, this collection is good. I will show you. Um, Open my special jar and look which one I've actually got and she's in the plastic sleeve see those sleeves highly recommend you get them Aurora oh. anyway good cards to collect just in case you don't know hey guys so anyway I just had my OOS pop in um, and offered to help, but like, I'm doing great. So I thought, no, it's okay. Um, I'm doing okay, but poor thing, like, unless one of us need her, she's sort of got nothing to do, but it takes me a while to get to know people, but she's lovely. But anyway, so I'm going great. I'm actually at the point where I'm going through the wardrobe. So the wardrobe's being attacked and Willow is trying to find a place to sleep. Plenty of space over my end here, right? But he wants to take the space up where the clothes are. Cats are assholes. But I love him. Mm. <laughs> animals be animals, that's what they do. Just watch. <laughs> it's just getting messier, but don't they say things get worse before they get better? They say that. I'm gonna trust it. I don't know if I should. Alright, let's into it. It's alright, dude. You don't have to move. I mean, it'd be nice if you could. There's a whole side. He's got a whole side over there. He won't use. He's a cat. He's an asshole. But I love him. So this. Num, 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 num. Will you fit with the other midriff? It's my hair. Okay, any other midriff? No. I thought I had another midriff floating. I needed, anyway, I was doing long sleeve t-shirts, now I'm on t-shirts. Anyway, let's just stick to t-shirts then. This one is super cute. Love this one. I'm a very girly girl. But that does not mean that my girly girl stuff will not go in the dirt. It will. Because, just remember, Fashion, you can wear it on a farm, okay? You just own it, girlfriend. Own it! Clothes are clothes. Why buy dorky clothes just because you get dirty? I'm not saying there shouldn't be sturdy clothing, you need sturdy clothing for farms, even if it's hobby, but I'm just saying, just saying, it doesn't have to be fancy, but. It can be pretty. Good boy, Willow. This one's a bit creased. I need to do some steaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Okay. Those two of the midriffs do not fit in there because they're really not midriffs. I had a bunch of midriffs somewhere and I've lost them in all of this drama of, hang on, let me just, Holy dolly. You know what coat hangers are like. They just have like now nah, he's going to his Oh Okay, so I don't I don't need them right now. These I need to get out of my way because they're just like I said you leave some summer stuff out but you don't leave all. You don't need all. So therefore you don't leave all. Sorry, let me just hang because these ones also can be used in winter to keep warm. It's an extra layer. Um, so that's always a good thing, isn't it? And that's what I use them for basically. I use them for that. And um, I got a nice pink one. I love the pink, it is just so beautiful. So very happy with that. Mmm. Scrumptious. 
Look at this. This reminds me of my biggest skating days. It really, really does. Some of my dance costumes too, but yeah, it was an era thing, wasn't it? All right, let's just turn you around because I want to see the sparkle and open up my wardrobe and go, I want to wear that today. <sighs> own it, ladies, own it. Okay. Own your clothes when you wear them. Right, so now I've got some problems here because I've got a random jumper. But you know what? This is a knitted jumper. Country girl, knitted jumpers are my jam. Okay, I've even got, and I know you guys are going to say, that's so dorky for you. <laughs> but I am a dork at times. This is what I was raised on. So it's kind of like, it's got a frill, it's got pretty buttons. Super warm dress, just saying. Anyway, I don't care what others think. It's what I like, what I feel good in. <laughs> right, so this could go with the knitted jumper over here. I also have another one in there. So I'm gonna try, oh, I better check that. How many knitted, coolie doolie. All right, we have a few knitted jumpers here, guys. That could be a problem. Alrighty. Well, that's a, well, a track suit I need to sit through in a minute. But basically, let me get my other knitted. Just a few. <laughs> oh dear. One of them's a knitted dress. Okay, so let's just bring them. Let's just try and be organized, shall we? At least pretend. I'm just going to put them there. Put you guys on pause because I am just rambling and boiling in tears. Doing great. Done the other side almost. So I'm just finishing up that side. The other side, I will show you at the end, is full and in order of certain things. As you can imagine, everything's all paired together. So I'll show you the final result, but I'm going to finish this side off. I've got a vacuum pack all of that big pile there and there's more to put on hangers here in this big bunch of pile then there's also a pile over there for sewing anyway let's continue I highly recommend you do this I know that us PDAs go it's too hard it's too hard and it is and it's taking me a long time, hence why I'm not showing you everything because you'd be like, oh my God, let me go. So, but it's really feeling worth it. I've discovered clothes that I forgot about. It's, you got to do it. Just do it like Nike. Just do it. Are you ready for the grand finale? We have a bag of sewing tasks. Another day. On the bed, I'm not going to move everything because I can't. On the bed there, all of those items will be backpacked and put at the top of my cupboards. So now I will show you my actual cupboards. So I have, actually first I will show you, pyjama drawer has been sorted. So I've made sure everything is in date, not tacky. Put my favourite things on top. Good tip there. Another thing, clothes, more clothes. I put in my drawers. The thing that I've actually forgotten about is one empty one, two empty one. So what I can do later, because I have taken so long, <sighs> so tired. I can do that later. Having two spare boxes, is perfectly fine with me. Like it just, that doesn't bother me, right? Oh, it bothers me too much. Um, it just doesn't bother me. So that I'm gonna make happen to ease up some of the shoved in there things. Anyway, and those things will need a home and I might have to shuffle, but this is a good progress. When I've moved, everything just got chucked in there. No thought. So. On this side we have cardigans, uh, winter dresses, knitted jumpers, cardigan sports jackets, midriff jumper, t-shirts including some midriffs, some midriff long sleeve t-shirts, 
and some summery stuff just in case I want to layer things or it's hot. Sometimes it happens. Perth is weird. Anyway, that's that side. Like I said, I forgot about the boxes. Idiot. So, backpack and they'll go up there. So, and I can't wait to get my new surf bag for my duffel bag. So excited. Highly recommend City Beach for duffel bags. Strong, trustworthy, lasts for years. This side here is kind of like more of the dress up stuff, but also my jackets and jeans and leggings. Love leggings, love them. Loving trackies though. I'm a comfort person, but I like to dress pretty, but I'm, I like to be comfortable. So I am a bitzer with that, because you know, some days it's like, Autism day, bad. Mm, need to be comfortable. I don't care what people think of what my appearance is, so it doesn't matter, but I like dressing nice. So anyway, that's more of the nice stuff, the jackets, the jeans, the leggings. So that's sorted. The shoes are as normal. So everything I know where it is, I've got rid of some stuff to donate. Yay, backpack up there. Swapsy over in summer, I'll work it out then. And I'm gonna go back and use these boxes because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot. I gotta use these. Hang on, what am I doing? You belong over there. Two full boxes I could be using. I'll probably use that for tracky pants. So I'll correct that, don't worry. And there's a bit of sewing to be done. So basically, um, thanks so much for joining me in my expedition ooh, of the wardrobe. I feel inspired you. It's not spring in Australia. It's not summer. I just decided, I think like the house moved, like I said, everything just got chucked in there. And um, with my bath coming in and, and all these changes around my room, and like I said, even just getting that, like it was, you know, things get pre-put in and then it's like, you as the individual when you move in, you can change things. So we've taken that bar off for the tail, tail rail, because I use this, I'll show you what I use. I just use this. It's just so simple, like, do you like my chandelier? Anyway, if anyone hasn't seen this one, you cabinet, it's a mirror, it's a bit hard. And that's the decorations on top. So anyway, my bath is going here. So basically there's a lot of rearranging to still be done. It's not that easy to do, but if I can get that sorted, I'm working on that because I can't wait to have a bath. I'm a bath person. You know, I do, I'm, I'm the whole thing. Self-care and me, I like this. You know, my mum used to do it and it was just natural for me. I mean, look at my nail polish collection. This is just such a good activity to do at night time or just in the daytime when you're fatigued or sitting in bed painting your nails, make yourself feel a little bit better. Um, with 22Q, you have a lot of fatiguing problems. I think it's boring. So anyway, the bathroom is next be complete you've seen the office slash studio type thing which is a bit of all uh, craft room that's been done which is wonderful um so thanks for watching this clean my wardrobe with me i guess you could call it that <laughs> um there's more to come about things that i'm doing around the house and i would love to share them with you because if i can motivate you because i know what it's like i'll get a drink i've got to get a drink as a PDA. Mm -hmm. Okay. We all learn coping skills and we move through it. We do. But guess what? We still need the push, the shove. To act. You've got to do it to yourself. Like it's not always others doing it to you. You've got to do it to yourself. So, success. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shook. I did it all by myself. Sir's just been chilling watching TV, so I did it myself. 
Minimal help. What did I need? I only need one one thing. Um, I'm a very low maintenance person. Does anyone else um, with autism like these mirrors are creeping me out? Hi, Tinks. Does anyone else just feel like because you're autistic that you are quite low maintenance and you can find things to do and it's nice having someone just there but it's like you don't need to be engaging or constantly you know so yeah yeah it's just it's a thing let me know below if that's you if you're autistic if you are um and there was another question i wanted to ask but i'll leave that for another video because now i'm just rambling but thank you so much for watching and let me know if you've got any tips for me seriously open love love to hear okay comment below if you have an idea of like you could do this you could do that because you've seen it all please feel free absolutely Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later. Bye.